We give you all praise, Father, because the Lord is working. I want to give double honor to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who were well, man. And shout out to the whole elect out there and the elect lady and your children. Now look at this face real good. I want y'all to look at this face. This is a face of fear. Look at it real good. And I believe through the spirit that this man is an Edomite, you know, because I, I, I've discerned through the spirit that he's, um, you know, he has his, he has his dislikes against the tribes, you know, sound bites, you know, you discern certain words that he uses, you know, and if I'm wrong, forgive me, Lord, but I truly believe he's an Edomite and, um, that's the face of fear. All right? I'm going to play this. I want y'all to listen. Because these uh, Russian warships has arrived. They're arriving. They're right in the backyard. They're telling, they're telling Babylon the Great, look, we, we in your backyard. Just like you in our backyard. Threatening us. Supplying weapons to Ukraine, uh, uh, taking our assets and giving, their, giving our assets to them, freezing our assets. Babylon the Great has declared war, signing bills, you know, to give Ukraine weapons, NATO, the European Union trying to surround Russia borders through Poland and these different uh, Germany and, and, and different NATO countries. Well, Putin is not sitting back and allowing this, so he's doing the same thing, man. So this thing is getting intensified, brothers. You know, we, we are at the end. May the Most High, Yahweh, B'Shem, Yahweh, Shai, have mercy on us. But listen, you know, we're one more day closer to the return of our Lord. We are living in that time. We are living in that time, brothers. Listen and look at the fear of this man. Look at that. That's what you call fear. We will, we will let, let them, them put, put the boots, boots on, on the necks, necks of, our of our brothers, brothers and, sisters, and sisters, and we will, and we will sit, sit there and watch them because, because it's, it's not. not. First of all, my brothers and sisters are those that are part of the whole elect and the elect lady and their children, all right? You Babylonians and you two-third wicked Israelites, you're going to be destroyed. Not on, on your, your neck. neck. Russian, Russian warships, warships are, are about, about to make it just, just a couple, couple hundred miles, miles south, south of the United, United States, States of America. America. We, we are, are about, about to have, have Russian warships, warships the closest, the closest they have been to U.S. US territory in a very long time in a military, military capacity, capacity of this size. size. Russia, Russia is letting, letting America, America know right now that... They, they are, are in, in our, our backyard. backyard. They, they are, are right, right next, next to us, and they, and they are, are allowed, allowed to be, just, just like, like we are inside, inside of Russian territory with Ukraine and with NATO. With NATO. Now, now, I'm not I'm surprised at all if Russia leaves, leaves a couple of things, things behind. behind. They, they have, have alluded, alluded to it here, here that, that they will be leaving weapons of massive amounts of destruction to their allies, and that would be Cuba. They will, they will probably, probably leave, leave these weapons, weapons right, right at our, our doorstep, doorstep so, that so that when the United States, States of America finally steps its toe just further, further over the line, line finally, finally goes, goes to war openly with Russia or openly, openly with China, China Russia, Russia has, has this play in their, their playbook, playbook already. already. Let's, Let's get, get to, to some of the nitty-gritty here. here. Russian, Russian warships are scheduled, are scheduled to arrive in Cuba this week. week. The Cuban, the Cuban government, government announced that the fleet, fleet includes three, three separate naval, naval vessels, vessels and, and a, a nuclear-powered nuclear, powered nuclear, nuclear weapon, weapon capable, capable submarine. submarine. The United, the United States, States has been monitoring, monitoring these movements, movements which, which are a part of, of Russia's, Russia's larger, larger military, military exercise, exercise in the Caribbean. The Caribbean. Car Car yeah, they got, they got the Poseidon and one of them warships, submarine warships. All right. Poseidon. I really don't. Poseidon. Nuke. Clear. Russia. Salaki. Bear with me. All right. Okay. All right. 
Okay, as you can see, one nuclear arm Poseidon torpedo could decimate a coastal city. Russia wants 30 of them. And um, the, it's called the Poseidon. So, you know, one of these nuclear nukes could take out a city itself. So this is what's in these um, these submarines that's going to be over there, you know? And the warships. So as you can see, things are getting hot. It's getting hot. All right, let's go to, uh, let's get some scriptures, you know? Let's go to uh, the book of Isaiah. So like Isaiah... All right, 13. All right, let's get, I want to, let me see where I want to start at, because this whole chapter is powerful. All right, all right, let's see. Uh, the mark, all right. All right, and I will punish the world for that. Let me see, and it should be, Behold, here we go. Let's start at 17. Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them. And that would be today, you know, the modern Russians today. But when you go into the uh, history, you know, you got to study and go into the geographic locations and go into the ancient history, you know. So, behold, I will stir up the Medes against them which should not regard silver, and as for gold, they should not delight in it. Their bows also should dash the young men to pieces, and they should have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eyes should not spare the children. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, we read that earlier in another lesson, Isaiah 47, where the Lord says, Sit thou in silent and darkness, thou should not be called tender and delicate and thou should not be the lady of kingdoms because America is that lady she represents the top of all kingdoms all right and here you know Isaiah also is prophesizing about America Babylon the great calling her the glory of kingdoms and Babylon the glory of kingdoms the beauty of the Chaldees excellency shall be as when God the Most High, Yahweh, overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. All right? So this preset right here is a clear indication showing you that it's not talking about ancient Babylon. All right? Because ancient Babylon, today, it's Iraq. And we know Iraq is still thriving to this day, man. You know? And, um... You know, this is this is a dark saying for Babylon, the great America, man. So listen, yeah. scary boy. U.S. officials believe that this deployment is a message to the higher ups inside of the U.S. military. Cuba has emphasized that these ships. You know, this guy right here, he he's one. He he, the way I read him through the spirit, he's one of those guys. Like, if you if you if you if you guys watch the movie Civil War, I didn't watch it yet. You know, I, I don't, you know, but I'm going to watch it. But there's a scene, you know, they show this scene on the trailer where um, these Americans are running and um, they need help and they run into these um, vigilantes or whatever. And, you know, they got guns and everything. And, um, you know, when I'm doing a lesson, it's, it's just Satan, you know. God damn it, man. <sighs> Salaki brothers, you know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, there's a scene where, you know, the, the people that was running, they looking for help. They're like, we're Americans, we're Americans. And the guy that's pointing a gun at them, he's like, what kind of American are you? You know? So this guy right here, he, he you know, I, I I discern he's one of those. He's one of them. Like you run into his house, 
You know, he got the he got the AK pointing at you. He, he he'll kill you on sight. He ain't trying to help. You know, then that's how it's gonna be. It's gonna be um to you know, to each his own. People are gonna try to just worry about them and their family. It's gonna get real real dark out here, man. A lot of death. You know, God damn man, just hate these family group chats, yo. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot, your brothers. But um, let's play. Will a little not bit. be carrying weapons of mass destruction, and they pose no threat to the region. Now, let me tell you, it is absolutely a secret which submarines carry nuclear weapons, which ones are capable of deploying them at any time, which ones have them on, which ones don't. And this guy right here, he going to be destroyed. He think he good. He probably got like one of them little bunkers. He got a little money. He's been prepping. He, you know, you know, but y'all about him, y'all shots going to get him, you know which planes have them ready, which ones don't. They're not just going to be letting their allies and letting everyone know. That is a trade and military secret that you won't know about, likely, until you see the mushroom cloud. Now, can you imagine you're sitting there enjoying the Florida beaches for a moment. You look at the horizon. You tell your family how nice it is. Yeah, you know things are getting bad out there in the world. But as you watch that sun crest its, uh, dip its crest right below the horizon, that's when the mushroom cloud goes up. A giant wave of radiation washes over the beaches and washes over your family. It's caught on thousands and thousands of cellular cameras across the uh, shoreline. It's rebroadcasted. People have nowhere to go. There are no shelters like that in Florida. You dig down, you get sand. You dig a little further, you get water. So what happens next? Do we enact the mutual destruction agreements that we have had? Nobody really knows, but there is a lot of inclination or ideas that we won't. That we, the United States of America, will allow Russia to use a nuclear weapon, and because of the greater good, we will do nothing. Russia will become the next supergiant. Russia and China collectively. And that's the thing, man. These Russians and Moab, you know, in their mind, they're thinking like, well, you know, we're going to... Uh, we're going to be the next superpower. Nah, not at all. No, no, no. No, no, no. Let's go to Daniel chapter 4. The ma This matter. No, no, no. That's not what I want. I want, uh, damn. Uh, Daniel uh, 2, I think it is. 17. Uh, no, no, no. So take the kingdom. Damn, I ain't here. I ain't bring I ain't. Damn. That's crazy. Let me see. These are classic scriptures, and I forget because I haven't even, um, you know, something. So like it, brothers. It's probably Daniel 7 and 18. Let me see. Go Daniel 7 and 18. I said, <laughs> but the scripture said, But the saints of the most high should take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever. Now, when you go to Daniel 2, let's go up down to 44 40. As you can see, it says, Rome and the fourth kingdom shall be strong as iron, for as much as the iron breaketh the pieces. And subdueth all things, and as iron break of all these, shall it break in pieces and bruise. And whereas thou sawest the feet and toes, part of part of potter's clay, and part of iron, the kingdom should be divided, but there should be in it of the strength of the iron. For as much as thou sawest the iron mixed with the with the miry clay, this is the ten horns. This is NATO and the EU. You know, with the beast system, you know, you know, America is involved. And as the toes of the feet were part iron and part of clay, so the kingdom should be partly strong and partly broken. And whereas thou sawest the iron mixed with my clay, thou shalt mingle themselves with the seed of men, but they shall not cleave one to another, even as iron is not mixed with clay. And we see that division as well. 
that's being uh, fulfilled right now. But the point is here, verse 44, and in the days of these kings to the most high of heaven, Yahweh set up a kingdom, all right? As you can see, the divine kingdom right here, <clears throat> that's what we're looking for. That's where we're, we're about to head, brothers. You know, Yahweh is coming to establish his divine kingdom on the earth, all right? This is what we're looking for. We're waiting for this day. And in the days of these kings, shall the Most High Yahweh of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms. It shall never, and it shall stand forever. See? So we go to Revelation and we go to 11, 11, and let me see, and if we're saying a gift right here, verse 15, and the seventh angel sounded, and there were great voices in heaven saying, the kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Hamashiach Yahushai. He shall reign forever and ever. That's it, man. That's it. So this scary boy right here, your kingdom, you've been living good. More likely, you've been living a good American life, you know. And this is for all you Edomites like this guy, you know. Your, your, your time is up. Your time is up, you know. You devils, you Edomites, been reigning for too long in wickedness. Your time is up. We do have some breaking news regarding China. China says that Taiwan's leaders are pushing it into a perilous situation of war and danger that will bring us into World War III. The FBI has shown the largest sting operation, revealing Joseph Koch's upcoming book, Dark Wire, shows how the FBI secretly uh, operated something called ANOM. It's a secure, secret phone network. It's used to spy on criminals. I'm sure it never spied on Americans. For three years, ANOM granted law enforcement officials unparalleled access to criminal communications, all while navigating typical tech startup challenges like shipping, manufacturing, and customer service. The operation was so successful, it had to be shut down. Now, if you believe that, I owe you another wink there. What it was was just deleted and rolled over into something else. Apps like Signal now in use, the tech landscape for, uh, for criminals, they say, continues to evolve, and law enforcement, uh, law enforcement and the federal government need to have the tools to watch what is happening. I have a viewer right in here from Jesus Jesus Gonzalez. Good morning, Brad. I remember you saying that AI will take over everyone's job. Yeah, I don't want to keep it in it, but you see it, brothers. It's getting hot, man. And the most high, Yahweh Shimmy, I shall be with us. Call all Yahweh Bashim Shai, all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh Bashim Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And shout out to the Ophelet that day and the elect lady, keeping you on the watch, keeping you on uh, the watch and the news, man. This thing is getting hot. Our kingdom is right around the corner, but we got to go through the rough. Got to go through the Jacob's trouble, but the Lord is going to be with us. Shalom.